Okay, welcome. In this tutorial, we will be covering our one channel prop controller, the puck. Um, here's the puck itself. A uh, quick overview of the different things on here we have the barrel jack connector, um, this is where your power goes in for the actual controller. The center pin on this is positive. The, uh, the black two terminal connector here is an auxiliary power for an infrared sensor or maybe a brake beam sensor. And then the green two, two terminal um, connector over here is for the trigger. This is a normal open contact, meaning you're not applying a voltage to this from a sensor. So if you have a, uh, a sensor that applies a voltage, that is not what we're looking for here. We're just looking for a normal contact to be activated to set the, uh, the scene into motion. Over here we have the, the output uh, is one amp max. Uh, it's again the one channel controller and uh, I have gone ahead and connected an LED to show the status of our output when we start programming. We'll go ahead and power it up. We are using 12 volts for this demonstration. We'll plug it in and you'll see the power light come on. And then we will go ahead and start by creating a, um, an idle scene. And this is done by holding the play record and stop button along with the channel 1 button which toggles the state of the output. You'll hold both these, you'll see it begin to flash, and after it stops flashing, it is now ready to record. So we will go ahead and just do some simple presses for our idle mode, and then we will hold record again, and that light will shut off. And now it will immediately begin playing what we just recorded, and that again is the idle mode. Now we will go ahead and record our, uh, our main scene, which is kind of a scare scene. We'll just hold the play record stop button. You'll see the activity light turn on. And now we can go ahead and record that. Then we will press it again and it will shut off. So now we'll go back to the idle mode that we created earlier. And then we will go ahead and press our, our trigger, our hand trigger here, and it will enter the scare scene that we created, scare mode. I'll play that and then it will resume the idle mode that we created earlier. You can also test that scene by playing or hitting the play record stop button. And you can cut that short by tapping it again. And that is an overview of our Puck one channel prop controller. Thanks.